So, where was I? So hi guys, it's a boy Ralph and I'm going to talk about what happened to me, what I did over these past few weeks, and what I'm going to do very soon. It's going to be a fairly quick video, not really, but uh, let's get this out of the way. Where was I? So I was doing some college stuff uh, for these past few months and if you're seeing this video right now, I have graduated. Let's go. Thank God for that, I now finally have basically freedom to do whatever the heck I want, at least for a few months before I really need to get a job. But uh, yeah, I am now a graduate of the University of Santo Tomas and the vlog of that is going to be coming soon. I'm actually thinking about making my last few days as the Tomasian a vlog. Uh, I don't know how is it going to play out, but uh, yeah, that's why I've, I've been busy for a few months basically. I drop a few videos here and there. Not that, you know, I have a very consistent upload schedule. My upload schedule is very bad and it's very spontaneous, but I believe on the fact that I don't want to force myself in an upload schedule. I want to be more free of when will I upload. If I think a video is very good, upload. That's it. If I have nothing to add, on this video or anything I'll just upload right away I don't want to try to stick into a some sort of schedule where oh every Monday I have this video every Tuesday or Wednesday or any other day so yeah if you're not well kept on keeping up with me uh, just hit the sub and also hit the bell notification <laughs> now for what I have done at least specific on this channel I'm not sure if you have noticed but the graph tool that I have is actually updated so the graph tool now has a few features that it's uh, it's not really common compared to Critical's graph tool or MRS's squiggly or any other squigglings. So I'm pretty certain that there are some features that is already there that is not yet on the other squigglings. But now there is actually a very different feature that you all probably have never seen before unless you're actually more apparent like me or you're actually uh, more focused on the graph stuff like I do. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to explain the new features on the graph tool so nothing much has changed. But uh, as you can see here there is a new section at the bottom so we got a triangle or delta target. So let's say for example I select the J1 and as you can see it's going to compensate automatically but the target is not a straight line instead it's a more tilted line so what is happening here so basically if i remove the tilt this is what it's compensating to which is a basically a flat line what you can do here is that with this you can change the settings on this so for example let's say native one and it will just tilt based on how much you want so you can do so do a base boost so it will just add like 3 db of base boost you can add six if you want to there's also a treble reduction feature so let's say native for for reduction as you can see there's a uh, reduction in the treble response so uh and also there's also the ear gain as well like uh let's say you want to reduce the ear gain by six decibels and it can actually do that. I like this type of implementation because uh, it can essentially customize it into whatever settings that you want. Which means that people can just share what type of settings that they prefer on the targets and it's basically a representation on here. So for, for example, someone prefers a tilt of negative one dB per octave, a base boost of six, and an ear gain of negative six there it is you can just put it in there and it will just translate to that the other extra feature right here is the Harman filter so basically it's using the data that we got from the Harman research so for example we got Harman 2018 Harman combined which is 2013 base and 2018 mids and treble Harman 2013 itself and Harman 2015. Now as you've noticed, there is no Harman in-ear targets. And uh, the reason why that is basically that uh, first of all, I don't like it. And second of all, I don't think the presets are available yet. But you can still select the Harman 
in-ear targets from the Graptal. So nothing much is lost, but you don't have it represented in the similar way as on this one. And the last part about this section right here is the preference bounds. So as I'm going to press this, it will show two extra lines and it basically represents the upper and lower bounds of human preference according to Harmon research. So let's say in this case, the Celis Pulis Beast, for most people, they will find the elevation at 2 kilohertz too much. That's compared to the Mega 5 EST. And as you can see on the Mega 5 EST, because it falls squarely in line, I believe that most people are going to like this IM. I think that's a neat feature of something to have, which is the preference bounce. And you know, and also this one as well. That's also really neat to have. Now, let's go over the new features on the equalizer section. So let's go to the equalizer section. And we have an upload frequency response, an upload target curve, and an upload song. Upload song? Huh, what does this do? So you can actually play a song that you want from a local mp3 file or a FLAC or a WAV file. So I'm just gonna load a, uh, some royalty free music and I'm going to play it right here. And here right now. Wow, uh, we can play music here. So what is the purpose? So I'm gonna share another feature. So I'm just gonna open the full explorer because that's what I'm currently using right now. And let's say that I want to add a lot of bass boost on the Apple Explorer. So let's play the music again. And I'm going to add a low shelf filter. So low shelf filter at 150 hertz. Actually, let's make it, I don't know, to 50 hertz because why not? Let's have fun, right? So 0.71 which is like the half of the square root of 2, I think, if I remember correctly, might be wrong, but 0.71, and a gain of 6 decibels. And it can, it will already just apply the bass boost. I, it is actually very boomy right now, it's actually pretty muddy. And for those who is doubting, I'm gonna add in a 15 bass boost. <laughs> Oh god, that is... <laughs> it actually works. That is so funny. Okay, I'm just gonna turn it off. And, you know, now it actually responds to what I'm doing. It works really nice because you can essentially test the EQ that you want without going through Spotify or whatever. It's especially helpful if you're using mobile. So you can upload song from your phone at the browser and you can just play whatever song that you want and you adjust your music right there. You can export the parametric EQ. You can put it on Equalizer APO or Wavelet if you use Wavelet. Now, why do this over adjusting Equalizer APO and playing Spotify? If you're on PC, that is fine. You can still do that, but with this you can see the graph react so i think it's a really nice feature to have especially if you're gonna try some eq but you don't really want to save it yet at least in this case you can essentially try out the eq that you want to do before you save the preset and gonna just use it on equalizer apo so yeah i really like the new features that we have right now before i end this section right here i'm going to thank Haruto Hiroki. So he basically did all those amazing features that you're seeing right now. All I essentially did is basically uh, bother him so much and also copied his code because that is what a programmer does. But yeah, uh, this guy is really amazing. He's really cracked on what he does and I can't thank him enough for it. So uh, with that said, I guess we have to go back on the actual video. And yeah, uh, other than that, uh, the other stuff is basically, I have this thing. So, I can see the one right there. So this thing is so far away, I need to go a little closer look. <laughs> so this right here is the Fosse DS1. This is going to be my baseline DAC amp if I want to do some comparisons. Now, I have a video about the full snowy night a few months ago. I'm gonna go back to it and I'm gonna compare it with this thing 
and other various dongles so that's what i'm planning to do but yeah i now have this i have no worries about try iems with a 4.4 that's very cool now i guess with the announcement of the fossi ds1 i'm just gonna go into a segue of talking about the future what other things that i haven't done yet <laughs> so there is a lot uh, I have to admit, there is a lot of things that I haven't done yet. So the time that I've uploaded this video is going to be on the same time that I've uploaded the Kinera Celeste this Beast review video. That is the latest Hi-Fi Go unit that I've ever received. In fact, there are a few units that I got from Hi-Fi Go. The Snowy Knight being one of them, but also the binary Gizalio Chopin, the collab I am, and the Afol Magic One, which you've seen at the Afol Snowy Night audio impressions thumbnail. I had that. I'm going to make a review videos of those two, along with any other IEMs that I haven't reviewed yet. Stay tuned for that. There are still some IEMs that I haven't reviewed, and also another DAC am actually that I want to talk about. So uh, I have a lot of things to cook. <laughs> so I have the graduation vlog. I got the review video for the binary Chopin, the magic one, the snowy night, another IM, another DAC amp, and I have received four more IMs. <laughs> Oh god, <laughs> Sean Olive or whatever headphone god Axel, I have no idea, help me. So yeah, I guess that's it for the updates, uh, uh, I hope that uh, this uh, style of me in the camera is a bit different. I want to do something a little bit different compared to what I usually do is basically on front of the monitor that I'm seeing. It's right here. This is the monitor. It's the PC. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to do something a little bit different that may involve doing a bit of a different thing on my own setup. But yeah, I think that's it. Now, a few things before I leave this video on. I have a Facebook page. So if you're in the Philippines and you prefer checking some of my content in Facebook, there it is. I have a Facebook page and go down here in the description and or follow, follow the page, okay? So my purpose of that is basically that even though I have a YouTube channel, a Discord, a HeadFi for my written reviews, I will do a bit of a combination and also a bit more of a frequent updates on that channel. Much like how OB Audio is doing on his Facebook page, so I might do the same thing. So I'm gonna post some impressions, early impressions right there, early graphs, and just some random shenanigans about stuff. So then, uh, I will do it in the community section in YouTube, I'll probably do, but it's another platform that I can just share my stuff on. So yeah, there is that. If you want to follow it, follow the page. If you don't want, you don't have to. And here's the last part. I also have a coffee page, the alternative to Patreon. Why did I set up a coffee page? Well, it's simple because uh, I want money. <laughs> Let's be frank here, I need money. <laughs> So uh, if you want to donate some few cash here and there, feel free, go to my coffee, donate like $5. Now, why coffee over Patreon? Well, it's simple. Patreon, basically you are forced to pay for each month. If you pledge in Patreon, you became a member. I don't really want that for the simple reason that I'm not very active in YouTube. So uh, instead, coffee is there for a quick one-time donation. In other words, or in their words, you're just basically giving me a cup of coffee. You know, the price of the coffee, I guess, $5. I don't know, but it's a one-time fee compared to Patreon's month-by-month -month basis. Now, there is a month-by-month -month basis on coffee, but I'm not, I, again, I don't want that because I am very inactive in YouTube anyway. I'm active in Discord, but not in YouTube. So I prefer that uh, if people are going to donate to me, it's just one time. And if they want to, they, uh, I don't want them to just, oh, they forgot to cancel their Patreon. Nice, I got money, but they don't want that. So there it is, coffee. 
uh, uh, if you want to donate, cool. But nah, that's fine. Uh, you don't have to donate. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So I guess I'm gonna do the usual outro stuff. So if you like this video, leave a like. Comment down below of what stuff that you want to talk about. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.